Good evening students. Welcome back to this session. Today in this lecture we are going to learn about the effect of parasites on the host. So the hosts are giving nourishment to the parasites. So the parasites are completely depending on the host for their nourishment. So in such cases the body of the host will become weak and that is prone to diseases which are caused by the parasites. The parasites will the parasites will completely depend on the host for their nourishment. So here in such cases that leads to the weakening of the immune system of the host. So here we have parasitic castration. So in this castration so we can see the degeneration of gonads. So if the gonads are degenerated, the host will become sterile and it will lose the capability of reproduction. So example for this parasitic castration is saculina which is a crustacean. So this causes degeneration of ovaries in the crab carcinus manus. Neoplasia. So neoplasia means abnormal growth of host cells. So the host cells will grow in abnormal way. Neo means new and they develop into different structures. They form new structures. Example viruses. So the next one is gigantism. So gigantism means so when abnormal increase in the size of the host cells. So here example for gigantism is the larval stage of fasciola hepatica. So fasciola hepatica has two intermediate hosts. Intermediate host is the one in which asexual reproduction occurs and here this causes gigantism in snail. This fasciola hepatica is commonly known as sheep liver fluke. The next type of adaptation which is shown by the parasite is Hyperplasia. Hyperplasia is increase in the number of the cells. The number of the host cells will increase in this condition called as hyperplasia. So example is fasciola in the bile duct of sheep. The next type of effect which, which is shown by the parasite on the host is hypertrophy. So hypertrophy is increase in the volume or size of the infected host cells. So if there is increase in the volume or size of the host cell, that condition is known as hypertrophy. So this condition can be seen in RBC of man in malaria. So the plasmodium causes increase in the volume of the size of the, of the RBC in man. Next coming to the types of diseases. The first type of disease is the African sleeping sickness. So African sleeping sickness is caused by Trypanosoma gambiense. So the second type of disease is Delhi boils or Tashkent ulcers or oriental sores. So this disease is caused by Leishmania tropica. The next type of disease is Kala Azar also called as Dum Dum fever also called as Visceral leishmaniasis which is caused by leishmania donovani. So the next type of disease is malaria which is caused by plasmodium. So next one is elephantiasis which is caused by Vukereria bancrofti. So these are the different types of effects which are shown by the parasites on the host. 